Hey, happy new year. It's uh, New Year's Eve. And uh, so this is the grinder. This is the four steps that I've uncovered in this year that I got to do a good warm up, pump my legs. I got to get a good workout, three sets of three for max. I've got to do grinders after that to really maximize the burn and then uh, cool down. These are my boards, right? Squat, the PR at 325. My goal is to hit 405 throughout the year. I don't want to have too many goals. I got to be careful. I got to focus. But I want to try to hit squats. Next, uh, deadlift. My PR is 300. My goal is to hit 405. Uh, lay that out. And then third and final would just be bench press. Like, love to hit 225 on bench. Um, I, I got to have some goals, but I find that I can't have too much to track because if there's there's too much, you, you just you don't hit anything. You're too spread out. You got to eat like a like a beast, and you got to train hard. And if you get too spread out, I found that um, there's such a balance, right? You know, like last year or this year, 2022, you know, I was sick in, just as a review, right? So I was sick in January, completely destroyed for six weeks in bed. Uh, I damn near died. And then um, got better, got this goal, figured out, gee, if I work really hard and do three sets of three, I can add a two and a half pound weight on each side. And if I did that for 18 times, I would hit a 95, a 90 pound plate, or sorry, a 45 pound plate. And that's how I came up with this plan. And I added a hundred pounds to my squat, right? So I went from 225 to 325. Um, and that was a absolute beast grind. I can tell you, it's probably one of the hardest things I've done in my life. I mean, it was focused. Um, I had to push myself to my max, uh, literally three times a week for seven weeks. Um, but I would, you know, add 15 pounds a week to my squat, and that's a lot. And then I hit it, I hit 325 and I hit it a couple of times and I started to wind down and we went to Hawaii for 10 days and I pretty much, I mean, I did work out twice, <laughs> But I just stopped. I shut it off. And that, I think, was catastrophic. It destroyed me. Um, I mentally was so disciplined and so consistent and chasing a goal and a dream. And I hit the dream. And then I didn't know what to do after that. Um, and so uh, there's no maintenance. Um, went on a, a vacation and um, came back and um, was stuck. So today was pretty light. As you see, I just did a few things, but um, trying to reflect. And so I'll do more reflecting videos. Um, how did the year go? But basically, um, you know, I hit that 325. I came back from Hawaii and um, was able to get up to 300, had something happen, took a break. Got back up to like 295, hurt my back, I think it was. Took a break. Came back. Um, couldn't get it back up to like 290, 300. I, I just, and then I just really, I just fell apart. I, I just didn't, I, uh, mentally, I just could not get my butt in the gym and uh, physically just didn't feel it. And I think diet was there. Um, lack of sleep was an issue. Stress was an issue. Work was an issue. There's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I, you know, I was very frustrated, but it wasn't, you know, it's not the end of the world. So then it's been good here, just reflecting, reflecting December 26th um, through today, the 31st. You know, I lifted every day, did something, and I'm excited about that, right? I, I'd rather do nothing than zero because I've done zero for weeks and um, I hate it. I don't feel good about myself. I don't feel like I've accomplished anything. I feel like a failure. I physically feel like crap. You know, I've lost all my strength. And I just, um, I'm trying to balance between when do I push through? Because, you know, one of my assets is I'm mentally so strong that I'll push myself to injury. You know, I can tell myself, shut up and get in there and go. But I'm trying to balance and watch when to do that, when not to do that, and long term, right? Is that healthy for me? Am I just going to get injured? I don't want to get injured. So, um, so I'm falling, you know, in love with this 
consistent, consistent, consistent. I feel that's the, the secret sauce. Um, might not go as fast as I want to. I really want to get focused on diet 2023 and get that figured out. Um, you know, protein, carbs, fats, and track my meals, prep my meals on Sunday, cook a bunch of stuff so it's ready, and really try to get myself half a chance to be successful. So when I do my mentally tough workouts and I push myself, I got the food to back it up to get results. And then when I get results, then I'll be, you know what I mean, happier, hopefully. Um, so anyway, so Happy New Year, wrapped up 2023 tonight. Um, uh, gonna just try to continue to learn and document again. I, I'm, I'm doing this for me to document my journey, um, be accountable to myself, and uh, would love to have a community of people like minded that lift and train and maybe similar age that are going through similar stuff that we can share um, nuggets. Um, we are all unique, which is also kind of sucks because. What works for you might not work for me. What works for me might not work for you. But I think in general, we can all learn from each other. And um, so this is a great format to do that. So anyway, but I just want to document the journey. It's fun to be able to reflect on and look back and, you know, see what did I do when. And so this year, obviously, the goal would be for 2023 to be consistent, do something every day. Um, I don't care if it's, you know, calisthenics, push-ups, pull-ups, and that kind of thing. I just don't want to get too many goals, right? I, I can't have, you know, bench press and squats and deadlifts and front squats and pull-ups and push-ups. And I want to do sit-ups and I want to, you know, it's like you can't have all these crazy goals. Um, I need to have something that's uh, manageable and attainable and I and I and I like the basics I don't want to focus on things I want to be as efficient as possible I, I believe squatting is the most hyper efficient thing I you know bench is okay you know I'm not gonna focus on you know benching 500 pounds or anything crazy um, I feel my best when I squat because it's huge in my legs and my glutes and my hips and my core and my back and everything. Um, but I'd like to get my chest developed and my arms developed also, right? And, you know, deadlift is amazing. I feel great doing deadlifts. Um, so I think I want to just stick with those three, right? Because if I do a few extra exercises to do improve my bench, if I do deadlift and squat, they're very similar in the back and the legs and the power and the hips movement, uh, grip strength, you know, as one thing I want to kind of improve too. Like I want to, I don't want to have to use straps for every second, right? As I get stronger and stronger, I would love to be able to hit a PR without straps and really kind of get my grip stronger. So just have to eat a ton of protein this year get efficient. Of course, I'd love to drop 20, 30 pounds and really have a flat stomach and be lean and mean um, as I get very strong. So anyway, a lot going on. So I'm excited and uh, we'll get this uh, crack the code on this thing. So God bless everybody and um, have a happy new year and we'll see you in 2023. Good night.